Oh my goodness, are we live? Twitch TV, uh, Pirate TV YouTube channel, I think we are live. So um, this is not a broadcast, this is a test. This is a test. Um, we are just setting things up for 20 hundred hours GMT, Thursday the 18th of March 2021, because that just happens to be a huge birthday for me, let's not mention how many years, and um, everybody, it is the launch, the virtual launch of my debut novel, Everybody's Doing It, how exciting. So, my name is Abigail Collins. It's not my nom de plume. It is actually my actual name. And I am a performer, um, a director, a teacher, and now a writer. I work with uh, a lot of different companies. Um, if you're Norwich based, I don't know where in the world you're watching this, but if you know the uh, Pirate TV guys from being in East Anglia, um, I work with Lost in Translation Circus, um, who are based in Norwich a lot, and I work uh, all over the country in the UK. And um, pre-COVID, I did work all over the world and, you know, fingers crossed, I'm going to be doing that again. So what do I do? I do character comedy. I do um, skills. I do hula hooping. I might be putting some videos up um, on the Twitter and on the uh, Instagram and Facebook. So you can usually find me and all the nonsense that I do by Googling Abigail Collins. The first things you should come to on the search is me, my name and um you can find my website which is abigailcollins.co.uk and see all the kind of nonsense that i get up to and i've been doing this for some years and i absolutely love it um obviously during the pandemic things have been a little bit quieter but i've still been doing some online stuff um thanks to lost in translation circus and the wonderful pirate tv um and now they have very graciously got involved with my online book launch. So I have no idea what I look like right now. As you can see, the hair's not been done for a few days. And um, I believe there is a frame around me where you can see all sorts of little uh, things to get involved where you can actually buy the book. Now, it's a very good book. It is a good book. Do you know how I know that? Because not only did I write it, but I actually read it. And um, yeah, it's a good book. So who's the book for? The book is for everybody. Um, if you have had, ever had the pleasure or otherwise of online dating, whatever your age, you will recognize some of the things that go on in the book. So I like to think this book is for everybody because you've either online dated or you haven't. If you've online dated, you will get some laughs and groans of recognition in this book. If you haven't online dated, come on. I know you're curious, aren't you? Yeah, because you're in a stable relationship. Well, well done you. I'm very happy for you. No, I am very happy for you. But obviously, you know, if you're in a stable relationship and you probably think, well, what's all that online dating about? Um, well, so don't, you know, don't risk a breakup or divorce by, you know, just making a foray into online dating because you're curious about the format, but you don't actually, you know, looking, you're not looking for another partner. Don't do that. Read my book. $10.99, right? I think it, it's a bargain to read the book to discover what it's all about. So um, this book, it's fiction. It's not me. Um, but let's say in the early days, I did do a lot of online research, but obviously this is fiction. So it follows the story of um, our heroine, our protagonist, and she is called Kat. She is about to turn 39. She is divorced, childless, very often jobless. She's an actress, but she's lost her agent and um, things aren't going so well. She has a brilliant friendship circle. She's got Bill and Ben who are this amazing couple and they're all sorted. She's got a beautiful best pal, Jojo, who's gorgeous but also single. There is Gropey Dave, the Welsh stand-up comedian who's kind of like a wingman. And then there is the really, really cringe-worthy family. So there's a lot of stuff going on. And um, there, there are a lot of online dates in the book um, because 
it's her 39th birthday and she decides, well, do you know what? I'm going to give myself a year. I'm going to give myself a year and by next year I will be pregnant and married. What could possibly go wrong? So the book, there is a lot of online dating, but there's also a lot of the stuff about, you know, life is what happens while you're making other plans. So there's a lot of stuff about, you know, like her, her work and her age, because, you know, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary individuals, let's face it, we all have to face the fertility question, whether we want kids or not. It's something that we all have to think about. Um, you know, I don't talk about climate change in this book, but you might have decided that you you're um, not going to have kids because of that. And I don't have kids more because of happenstance than anything else. So um, it's, you know, it, it's, it, it puts the issue forward, but it's not about the issue. It's more the story of a woman, you know, sort of transitioning out of the 30s into the 40s, trying to get the work-life balance sorted, trying to sort out relationships with friends and family. And um, basically, you know, finding love, in, in the modern world and how do we do that nowadays? So mostly, mostly what I hope is that it is an inclusive book. Her friendship circle, the work circle. So the backdrop to the book is that she gets a job uh, comparing at a cabaret club called Petit Paris. And there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a, a lot of fun stuff about the club, kind of London nightlife cabaret culture. And, you know, for me, uh, the diversity aspect was important. So this book kind of showcases her friendship circle and London in all her glory and diversity. And it was written pre-pandemic. And let's face it, who wants to, who, who wants to think about COVID? I don't want to think about COVID. You know, it's obviously brought my career, my performance career to a bit of a, a stop, but you know, fingers crossed, we're all going to get back out there again. So um, I hope, that you'll take a look. You can click on any any of the links, any of the links, have a little click and um, go and see. And you know what, even if you decide the book's not for you, come along anyway, 20 hundred hours, GMT, Thursday the 18th of March, because it is a big birthday for me. And I don't know if we can change the graphic around me, but after I've done the book reading, which I guess will take maybe an hour, hour and a half, and it's not just the book reading, I'll be reading some excerpts from the book um, and I'll be talking to you about how to get published if you've got any questions about that um, and I thought it would be really good fun if anyone's brave enough to share their dating stories all I ask is when you share your dating stories don't reveal names addresses real identities and even if it's a funny story and even if someone was a bit of a you know I'm not going to swear but even if someone was not so kind to you try and be kind uh frame it <laughs> in a positive or a learning way so yeah share your stories if you feel like it because everybody's got stories this is one of the things when i was writing the book that everybody said oh my god have i got a story for you i could literally write a sequel many sequels and maybe i will so book or not whether you want that when it gets to about 2100 hours gmt you know or 2130 you know as we get towards 10 o'clock it's going to be party so you know the, the, the frame will change and there will be disco balls and all stuff going around because you know i'm a child of the 70s and um i'm gonna turn my kitchen i used to get a mirror ball actually i'm gonna turn my kitchen into a party space and um i hope that you're all gonna get up and get down with me because i would love it if you stayed and celebrated my birthday with me so you know whether you want to or not and right now i'm not going to ask you <laughs> i'm not going to beg you but um there is a donate button there's a paypal button somewhere so if you would like to buy me a drink for my very big birthday and the fact that i'm all alone in my flat on my birthday um pack your bags we're going on a guilt trip <laughs> if you would like to buy me a drink please do that so before i sign off for now i would like to say thank you for tuning in and watching this test if you have feedback please let me and the team know i mean is this light too bright how am i looking how am i looking how am i sounding how am i coming across um 
Do you have any suggestions for the broadcast? Is there anything that you'd like to hear or like to respond? We do have a few Zoom invites. We will have a few Zoom invites. So if you're itching to be in the virtual room with me, then um, you can contact my team somehow to let me know about that and before I sign off I'd just like to say a big thank you to Lost in Translation Circus for always having my back and for continuing to employ me and making the pandemic much more bearable and to everybody at Fabulous Digital East Anglia and Pirate TV for making this whole thing possible and for dragging me kicking and screaming into the digital 21st century for making me you know want to present myself better I've actually got a proper mic now so I hope that you can hear me okay so I really want to thank you all guys um for doing that oh you are fabulous and uh if you want to learn how to look fabulous on social media they cover the whole lot and they cover live events and um, whether you're a small you know individual like me or you're a company um or you know what if you just want to know more and how you can get involved in their projects and what they do or if you're starting out you know maybe that's what you want to do as a career i highly suggest you get in touch with them so thank you for listening mate to me blather on <gasps> one more plug for the book it's a very 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 good book i know because i read it <laughs> maybe not do that on the live don't, anyway thank you so much for tuning in and until I see you again, I've been Abigail Collins. I'm still Abigail Collins. This is my first novel. Everybody's doing it. Thank you to the tech team and good afternoon. <laughs>